Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you another commentary today, and today I got a gameplay for you guys on the map Hazard, which is from the newest map pack, or the newest multiplayer map pack at least, and uh, you guys of course know that, but uh, we are playing Domination today, and you know, it's one of my favorite game types, gotta love it, using the M16 with the pink reticle, gotta love the pink, definitely for good luck, at least for me at least, but um, you know, what really went wrong in this gameplay was something absolutely huge, and I figured I would had to bring it to you guys. It wasn't the greatest score. I still had a really good score. Most people would have definitely been pleased with this gameplay, but, uh, you know, something very wrong went, you know, in this gameplay, and you guys are going to see what's going to happen, and uh, I'm definitely going to commentate on it, tell you guys when it is, but uh, you guys are going to be shocked as well. But really what you want to do on Hazard is you want to stay back. Now, I've tried using submachine guns. I've tried using close-range weapons like the 74U and the MP5K on Hazard, and they just really don't don't work there's really nothing you can do about it and this kid right there the boss dude he is gonna get on my nerves so much he kills me another time and I'm gonna point that out to you guys but uh, you know you really can't use submachine guns on this level you know I'd wish that they had made it so you could but it's really not even possible because it's such a wide map and it's such long range now they said that they compared this map to the you know the cliffside from world at war but really cliffside was a lot smaller than this I definitely believe and you were able to use mp40 I remember using type 100 on that map and uh, everything like that that, but in this gameplay, you really, or this game, you know, this map, I guess you could say, you really have to use long range rifles, which is why when you guys see me playing this map, I'm using the Commando, I'm using the M16, I've used G11, and those are all weapons that can work that work at both close range and long range. So it's really hard to play with some machine guns on this map. So I would definitely recommend using assault rifles. It's better to suit your gameplay and everything on this map. Definitely try to snipe even if you, uh, if you know, if you really want to. A lot of people are going to snipe, and uh, the boss is definitely a sniper. The kid who just killed me you guys are going to see him pop up in this gameplay again and uh, he kind of got on my nerves a little bit but what are you going to do about it but I did change up this gameplay a little bit because the kill streaks I was using are the blackbird the chopper gunner and I went with the gunship I was playing with one of my friends uh terrible Ty. thank you for playing with me I was playing with one of my friends and I was like you know what I'm feeling the gunship this game I'm feeling that the gunship's going to do work hazard such a wide open map you know there's not too many buildings to camp in a lot of places to run around and I figured the gunship was going to go out there get so many kills you know do what the chopper gunner is gonna do and uh, you know I was like all right I'm gonna go with the gunship trying gonna try to get a hundred kills I could have definitely done it I made a couple mistakes here and there with the game and uh, you guys are definitely gonna see that as well the boss Wow, the boss is just getting on my nerves. The boss is a kid who's playing against me, guys. Um, you're going to see when I die and uh, how what I mean by he's getting on my nerves a little bit. But, um, you know, so I figured I would go with the gunship, change it up from the attack dogs. But now that I think back about it, you know, attack dogs can't get shot down. You know, they work all the time. Hint, hint right there, guys, as I get my Blackbird. But uh, the attack dogs always work, so I probably should have used them. I could have gone for more kills than I had originally gotten in this gameplay if I had been using the attack dogs. And I should have got more of them, but I ended up not doing that and uh, you will you will see why um, I was really actually angry about this but right here I get sniped by the boss again a lot of people on this map are gonna want to snipe guys even though I did recommend it to you guys a lot of people are gonna want to snipe so you're gonna want to use those long-range weapons in order to fight off the snipers but able but be able to rush them as well when you rush a sniper your assault rifle is gonna outpower them you know 99% of the time rather than them shooting with your pistol so that's why the assault rifles are probably the best weapon to use on this map and the spot that I'm using right here is pretty much the power position if you guys have ever heard of head glitching it's been around probably since call of duty 4 but really came about in modern warfare 2 and world at war and everything like that but head glitching is really when you can see the enemy over a box or over an object but they really can't see you and right here i'm about to go on a sick tear um that's why i love using the m16 and oh get off me dude um but yeah so head glitching is when you can just see your you know your head but you can't really but you can still see the enemy clearly and that's what i was trying to do on that little blade of grass or that little area of grass next to that bridge so they really couldn't see me but I could see over them now as you guys see right here I'm getting flashed and now knowing the area where I'm at on the map is also very important I knew that there was a wall in front of me so I knew I could get down even with the flash there so I knew where I was and also notice how I'm keeping things in between me and the enemy at all times and right there look at that athletic maneuver that was sick I jumped backwards over the wall still had stuff in front of me so I had the better shot on the enemy rather than them having a better shot on me so that's really what you guys want to do you want to put something between you and your enemy to give you the advantage advantage in the gunfight because you guys want to win those gunfights get your kill streaks and pretty much do absolute work but knowing where you are on the map and knowing your surroundings is very important as well but 
you know, before we get into the main portion of the commentary, guys, just want to say, if I do sound any different, it's because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. That's why this commentary is being uploaded on a Thursday rather than a Wednesday because I felt like I couldn't really talk, you know, yesterday. My, my throat hurt a little bit and woo! You whoop whoop got him but uh you know my throat hurt a little bit so i didn't feel like i could talk as well as i can today so sorry about that guys a new video will be going up tomorrow as well this should be uploading thursday night and our road to commander series is going to be starting this weekend um i was going to get into that at the end of the video but it just got brought up so uh, i will definitely be starting that this weekend saturday i believe will be my first episode gonna be recording some more of those and uh, it should be actually really interesting so i can't wait for that but this is like the crow's nest of the map right here is where i was camping before not camping per se but uh you know it's a great angle to uh catch players that as you see here they're all trying to go over b and i finally get picked off but here's where the major a problem rises guys so i get my gunship right and i'm driving in the map figuring oh man i'm gonna get like 20 kills in this gunship everything's going well already got two kills right there and look what happens like what is happening okay my gunship is driving itself i don't know what it's doing where it's going you know you guys are going to see me almost crash into things like what what is this gunship on this is why i use the attack dogs you guys wonder why i normally go with blackbird chopper gunner dogs this is exactly why guys look at how awful awful this chopper gunner is doing or this gunship i should say now i know i posted a video i got like 34 kills with a gunship and demolition from spawn trapping that was awesome gunship actually worked in that video but this one it just did terrible i keep crashing into objects almost crashing can't even shoot any Anybody. when you guys see the gunship shaking a little bit that's because i'm trying to maneuver it around but it's just not working for some reason um infinity or Treyarch rather not infinity ward has not fixes fixed this glitch yet i'm not exactly sure why um the chopper gunners don't really work as well in a ground war as they do in a team deathmatch or anything like that so i'm also not really sure about that but the gunship just messed up for me i was I don't know. I was raging really hard. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I could have gone for so many more kills than I, you know, just had. But, um, you know, I ended up not being able to. I got a couple chopper gunners in this, but uh, people were also shooting them down. You guys are going to see that in the end of the video. So I really didn't know what to do. Um, You know, I should have used the dogs. I'm going to start using dogs from now on because I know those are guaranteed kills, or at least I'll get some kills. And all they can do is shoot the dogs. They really can't, you know, shoot them down from the sky. And uh, I've also really noticed this trend. And wow, get off me again. That's three for three this game but i've noticed i've also really noticed a trend that when i put up my chopper gun or anything they get shot down so much and usually it's from the kids using strellas who have ghost on and are in a corner it's the same kids every single time that i put out my chopper gunner that they just shoot them down and i can't even get any kills with them and you know to be honest i'm not even that good with the chopper gun i'm okay with it and uh you know i should be better with it but i don't know what it is i play ground war there's a little bit of a glitch but don't worry guys i'm not blaming it on that it's definitely my fault you know aiming in uh, my sensitivity is kind of low i plan two or three um i'm not really exactly sure what i plan um i'm pretty sure it's three so my chopper gunner moves around very slowly but as you guys are going to see right here i put out my chopper gunner and it's going to get shot down immediately as soon as i get out i hear the beeps and i just hear bolts flying at me and obviously there's nine players on the other team so it's very hard to you know pinpoint where the enemy is shooting me down from unless i can really see it but by that time you know i already got a missile headed at me and i can only survive one more so i really think what they should do is they should make the attack helicopter 2 the chopper gunner and gunship four bullets because you got two more kills than the attack helicopter or at least it should go two three four and uh, you should be able to stay up longer in those due for the fact that you'd earn those you earn those kill streaks you got nine kills in a row you got 11 kills in a row or eight and you got 10 if you're using hardline but you earn those kill streaks and uh, they should definitely be up there for a lot longer and uh, sam turrets can take them down very easily as well so that's why i think you should have three to four bullets for the gunship in the chopper gunner but i'm going to be sticking to dogs um those are my gut feeling those are the things i love i love the cujos uh they're very good to me in this game so uh, that's what i'm going to be doing not the gunship and uh, you know sorry to say guys i wanted to mix it up a little bit for you guys but as you guys saw there it's kind of hard getting gameplays when your gunship reacts like that and i had a lot of blackbirds in this game as well i believe i had three or four um if not more um, but you know, I kept getting stopped at an eight kill streak, so I could have had so many more kills than I actually did. But it's definitely okay. Um, you know, I'll survive. But I still ended up doing pretty well in this game. Spoiler alert: I went 69 and 10, guys. A little more deaths uh, than you know I normally want. But what I wanted to show you guys was that whole gunship glitch. So I definitely recommend using the kill streak dogs if you guys are gonna go and uh, try and get an 11 kill streak because dogs. 
they just do so much better. They're more consistent. They can't get shot down, etc., etc. They can get shot, but uh, they can't get shot down. That's really the main point I wanted to say. Dogs will always last for the full minute or so that they're out. And there again, another Blackbird. I'm on. I'm really hot right now on another kill streak. Uh, I believe I get another Chopper Gunner, maybe even a Gunship, or I was about to get a Gunship. And uh, the game is nearly over. Um, we're at 185 right now, but we triple cap them. I don't know why we triple cap them, but they just took over B. Um, People are tending to triple cap in this game so much more. Not exactly sure what's going on there either, but uh, I'd much prefer a double cap and then them only having one so we can, you know, spawn trap them. I know where they're going to spawn, and there's my other gunship. This one would have probably actually worked, but I had no time to put it out because my team triple capped, and we were getting three points at a time. They're trying to take over A right there and B, but this game is about to be over. Wish I was able to use my gunship again, but uh, I guess I wasn't, but... I also have another series idea for you guys if you guys want to give me some feedback. I'm going to set up a game battles team with one of my roommates who uh, lives with me at college. And uh, we're going to do live commentaries, live shoutouts in competitive doubles playlist. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I want to make as many series for you as I can, guys, because you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Always really appreciate you guys, you know, sticking with me and, uh, you know, commentating or... You know, commenting on my videos, not commentating, that's my job. Uh, liking them, favoriting them, you guys are truly awesome. And uh, thanks for sticking with me. My voice kind of hurts a little bit. Check out the uh, dual commentary me and Aviator are going to do. That's going to be going up next week, not tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think, on Friday is actually going to be my setup video for you guys. So I'm going to upload that tomorrow. And uh, look for Road to Commander this weekend on Saturday, I believe. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. As always, uh, I am feeling a little sick, so I do apologize. But thank you guys so much. Always appreciate it. I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day and see you.